Hey, this is Jason with Deadworks. I got a new little rig here I wanted to show you. Um, had it for a, a little bit. 1962 Corvair Monza 900. And uh, very cool because it's first generation Corvairs. They changed the body, body style, I think, in 1965. But I really like the look of these. And uh, it's just a, it's a cool rig. It's not perfect or anything. It's just a nice little driver. But uh, we'll walk around and uh, show it to you a little bit here. And uh, go ahead and uh, turn the lights on for us. Got your marker lights, headlights. You got your bright lights on as well. Go ahead and turn our blinkers on. Got your right. We got our left. You know, overall, um, it's a nice little car. And I'll just walk through here. You're gonna see uh, all the still photos and stuff on it, obviously, in the auction, but. I just wanted to walk around it so you can just see the body in uh, in general. And uh, it's actually a pretty solid car. There's a little bit of rust, a few little areas and stuff, but for a Corvair, it's actually in, in really nice shape. If you look down the side, you know, it is black. It is a little bit wavy down the side. It's not not perfect, and uh, but for a nice driver, it's in good shape. The uh, paint isn't perfect by any means. It's got a lot of orange peel. It's got a lot of flaws and stuff, and I'll try to point some of those out. Uh, this one is a, a Monza 900. That's actually a trim package. Um, and I think the 900 was also the base model for the turbo uh, models as well. Um, I'll just look here around the hood. You can see these imperfections right here. The paint's about 20 years old, and uh, but you know it is glossy, but it has a lot of just a lot of issues. Uh, going on so you know you can still take it to a car show and, uh, and enjoy yourself but you know it definitely has different things you can see little sanding scratches and different things you look here at the headlight you can see some dings that have been taken out you know a lot of little pitting and stuff on the chrome you look here on this side you can see it's was dented there at one point too front bumpers look pretty good on it The tires are brand new. I actually put those on. It had really, really old tires. And I was driving at one time and, and one of the tires blew up. And uh, I was planning on replacing them anyways, but we went ahead and replaced them. Uh, so they maybe got 10 miles on them. You can see a little rust bubble right here in the corner of the door. There's also another one right here. Real small, but on the outside of the car, that's, that's pretty much all I see. You can see some chipping. It actually, when I got it, had some chrome strips down the side. I hate that look, so I took them off. You can see the chrome, a little bit of pitting here. A little imperfection there. A couple little imperfections right there in the paint. And I can't show you every little tiny piece, but um, you look around the wheel well. Very, very clean. No rust bubbles. You know, they actually look really nice. See the hubcap. Go around here to the back. Go ahead and uh, show our tail lights, blinkers. They also got brake lights going on. And underneath here, you can see the lights on as well. And uh, that plate doesn't come with it. We just put that on there for fun. It's a 1962 dealer plate. If you were actually going to go to the dealership in 1962, um, that's what they would have put on. So it actually comes with the Oregon plates on it, uh, special interest ones. I like uh, the dual exhaust on these. And I like that, that venting. Go ahead and uh, rev it up a little bit. You know, sounds real good. I like the way that dual exhaust sounds on these cars. You know, it's air-cooled, and uh, I like that little vent down there across the bottom. And uh, I just like the, the first-generation uh, Corvairs. Um, very nice. You'll see some imperfections, again, especially on the paint. Hopefully you can see that in the video. You know, just some little stuff in the paint. And uh, But overall, the car is solid. You can see Monza right there. Look here, you'll see some imperfections, some little scratches. 
I just like the way these look in the back. Back window looks good. You know, it looks pretty clean. The top is older. You'll see some little imperfections. There's a little tiny cut right there. It's got a patch on the back. You know, it does hold uh, water from getting inside. You also see a little, little cut with a little patch right there on that, on the uh, driver's side there. And, uh, but overall, the, the top doesn't look too bad. Good to see some, you know, some of the rubber and stuff is just getting old. You can see a little bit of that hanging off there. You can see the rubber around the windows. I forgot to show you on the pat the driver's side, but it looks exactly the same. It needs new uh, window felts. Those are actually pretty cheap uh, if you wanted to ever get some. You know, around the wheel well here, again, it's not rusty. You can see a little little chip right there, but no bubbling at all. And uh, I'll show you a video of it, of it underneath. And, uh, you know, overall it's pretty clean. I don't see any bubbles in the bottom of the doors here. See a little chip there. See some bigger chipping here. Again, like I was saying before, it had a, a little tiny, um, you know, piece of chrome down there. And I'd rather have the chips. And uh, you can see here, a little pitting and scratching on the chrome. Look around here to the front. See a little dent on the hubcap. You know, overall, I mean, it's it's a solid rig. We'll look down the side here, on this side too, and uh, you know it's fairly clean. But you'll see a, a little bit of waviness down the side. But you know, for a driver, um, I think it's in pretty good shape. And mechanically, we did a lot of work to it. Um, the brakes are all good on it. I had it aligned. I put uh, new. Uh, um, brake cylinders all the way around. It's got drums all the way around it. Um, so overall, it's uh, it's in pretty good shape. So we'll go ahead and uh, show you the interior and uh, maybe do some driving around. I'll put it on my lift and show you underneath. Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look inside the Corvair. Um, I just wanted to point out here too that the uh, on the top on this side, I didn't show you on the side. You can just see a lot of wear on the top there, in, in general. And uh, it's it, it's a manual top too. It's not a power top. But anyways, I don't have keys for the doors. You'll have to have those rekeyed. The key works for the trunk up front. And uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, I'll just show you how it shuts. You know, it shuts pretty nice, a little clanky, and uh, but you know, not bad. Go ahead and look at the interior. I love the interior being red. You know, black and red always look really good. And uh, overall, the seats they have a little bit of wear, but they're actually in pretty nice shape, and they're actually really comfortable, and uh, and look nice. It's got newer carpet in it. Um, it was put in a, a while ago, but you know, the carpet looks looks pretty good. It's not the original. You can see here where it's come come up come away a little bit there and uh but um we'll go ahead and look at the steering wheel original steering wheel you can see some little cracking right here a little cracking on that side too and uh the horn does work see it says corvair in the middle it's got seat belts front and back it's got a convertible boot for it as well and uh, seats look good Look behind the seat, also looks nice. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the uh, the dash. You know, this actually doesn't have any cracks. Actually, the dash looks looks in pretty good shape and uh, looks in good condition. Go ahead and look at the door panel here. You can see it has a little areas where it needs to be attached. It's actually just, it's attached, but it's just coming out a little bit. And you can see a little little cut there another one there it's almost like the the edge came off and they folded it and they glued it back and that's just the way I got it you know you could use uh, new rubber around the doors you can see here you know the rubbers old and cracked you know there's no rust underneath the doors though they're they're actually in good shape we'll look inside the jam here you know pretty clean I don't see any accidents that's the nice thing about this car it has this little rust things, uh, minor, but 
overall the jams and uh, structure of the car is in, in pretty good shape and I haven't seen any accidents or anything. Um, we'll go ahead and look here. I'll turn the key on. You can see the wipers. They work. You can see the generator light works. Fuel gauge doesn't work in the car. Um, and it also doesn't have a park. And uh, so they don't, they don't have park. They've got drive, neutral, reverse. So when you park it, obviously you're going to put it in, in neutral and then pull your, your emergency brake here. And uh, you can see it's got a radio, aftermarket radio. And it actually works. So, you know, overall, I mean, it's in pretty good shape. The cigarette lighter work, or it does not work. And uh, the odometer reads 83, 293. And, uh, but, you know, it's not perfect in here. I mean, uh, you can do some upgrades and, and things to it. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the other side. You know, it's just something you can tinker with and, and enjoy and take out the family and, and have a good time. It's, you know, it's not a $20,000 rig. And, uh, but, you know, you'll... You'll have a lot of fun when, in this one. We'll go ahead and take a look at the other side. Take a look at the uh, passenger side here. Just take a little peek. Again, the door opens. You know, it shuts pretty nice. A little loud. But, uh, you know, it does shut nice. I don't have key for this side either. And uh, go ahead and look at the, uh, the door panel. You know, again, it, it looks nice. You can just see it sticks out a little bit here on the edge. Some of the clips aren't sticking all the way in. And, uh, but it's something you can tinker with. You can see a rip in the gasket right there. You're going to see uh, still photos of some of this stuff. Some of the stuff you won't, obviously, because uh, I'm trying to cover it all in video and in pictures. Um, but So you you got to watch both things and look at both things. So you can see here the, the jam looks in good shape and uh, no rust. Look here in this jam, again, no rust and uh, original uh, spot welds I can kind of see and stuff so if you look at the seat from this side you know again it's it's pretty clean you can see the glove box the cardboard is actually getting bad those are really cheap to replace here's the uh, Kenwood uh, directions for the radio got to slam that just a little bit there we go. You can see here, I didn't show this earlier. But you can see the, I was already over here, I should have showed it to you. You can hear the fan running in the back there. And uh, you got your controls for your defrost, air and heat uh, down there. And uh, this seems to be working. So anyways, I hope that gives you kind of an idea of the Corvair in the back here. You can see here in the, the seats in the back look good. You can see some little vents down here as well below the seat. So here we'll uh, go ahead and uh, take a look underneath the hood. There's a little uh, lever there. You just grab it and then pop the, the hood up. It's got a little catch. You can see right there. When you let it down, you just hit the catch. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you the engine. Here it actually runs pretty good. You can see there's no damage around the uh, the jams or anything. You can see there the original red paint. It was a red car originally, but I don't see any rust. I don't see any damage, especially around the, the tail light panel. You know, actually pretty clean. You'll see the orig original uh, cow tag. I don't know if you can really call that a cowl tag because it's not on the cowl up front, but that's where they put it. You can see here the engine runs runs smooth. It's got dual carburetors. That's the way they built them. You can see right down here, there's an engine number down there, T0904YN. I'll go ahead and decode that and see if it's the original motor to the car. You can see it's running on generator as well. It has a new fuel pump, which we put on, and uh, actually has a new battery in it as well. And um, this little button here, that's something you normally don't see on these, but 
If you're actually working on it back here, you can actually hit this button and it'll actually turn the motor over. Actually, it'll, it'll even, even uh, if you have the key on, make sure to have it in neutral and hit it and uh, you'll start start the car. So it's kind of handy when you're kind of tuning them up and, and working on them. But um, overall, I just wanted to show you here. This is an automatic. Um, right there's the dipstick where you put the uh, transmission fluid in and, and check it. So um, anyways, I hope that gives you a good idea. Oh, one other thing I want to point out here, that's a bunch of undercoating from the factory. And it's, it's actually not an undercoating, it's just a coating that they put on there. And uh, you'll see that on a lot of Corvairs. I mean, it's, it's sloppy. I mean, it doesn't look good. You can see it here, it's the same thing on this side too. And uh, they just put that, that there. It's like a sound deadener or a seam sealer. Um, anyways, uh, well, the other thing too, I'll just mention that the, uh, the gasket actually looks pretty good. Good back here as well. So uh, anyways, we'll uh, take it out for a little ride and uh, show you some other stuff. This is uh, something I forgot to explain to you here when I was uh, starting it and different things, but sometimes when you turn the key on, and uh, sometimes it'll start, sometimes it won't. But if you look underneath there, there's a little push button. So when it, when it doesn't start off that key, you gotta hit that push button. And I think that has to do with something, you know, in the engine compartment where there's that button back there as well. And uh, where you can push it and start it back there. I think it's just the way the guy has it, it, it wired. So. I just didn't want you to be alarmed about that. Um, you know, it's just maybe it's the way it's wired, but. Here we are, we're gonna take a look underneath the trunk here. I do have the key for it. Go ahead and look underneath here. Overall, I mean, it's pretty clean under here. I'll show you a little rust spot here in a second, but you look inside the the jam or the uh, fender aprons, very nice. You know, not hit or anything. Look clean. You look here across the the front. You know, the headlight buckets. You know, in, in nice condition actually, and uh, so you can see it hasn't had any accidents up front here. You can look here on the cowl. Again, in pretty good shape. You'll see a little bit of corrosion. But right here is the worst spot. Um, there's just a rusty spot there that, that needs to be uh, taken care of down the road. Um, there's your brake master cylinder. This is your uh, squirters for the windshield wipers. They're not working right now. And the wipers do, but the, the uh, squirters don't. You can see it needs a new gasket up here. I mean, this one's pretty hammered. And, uh, but you know, this is stuff you can do in your garage you know, during the winter and stuff, and, uh, you know, just do, uh, little projects, you know, small things over the weekends and stuff. You can see the hood's in pretty good shape. You know, it's not rusty or anything, no bubbling. Um, you know, overall, it's, it's pretty clean, uh, underneath here. This here is for, you know, you got a spare tire in the back. That's just a tray that someone put in there. But again, you can see the, the pan, it's very clean up front here and uh, you know again no accident uh, or anything so looks pretty clean we'll go ahead and uh, show you some other stuff hey here we are uh, out cruising the Corvair it's just a nice cruising little car. You know, it drives pretty smooth down the road. It's not a powerhouse by any means. Um, it's just a, it's a nice car. You know, when you step on it, it goes, but you know, it's not a speed demon or anything. It's just a nice cruising car. You know, you can take, uh, you know, the family out in and, and, it's, and enjoy yourself. And uh, it is an automatic transmission. You can see there, I'm not shifting any gears. So some people like a four speed, you know, some people like an automatic you know and uh so it's to each his own and uh but i don't mind not shifting you know the brakes are real good you know coming to the stop here you can see here it stops nice and straight and uh i just want to give you an idea just in general what it was like behind the wheel and uh in general i had an alignment done on it you know we did have the brakes uh master the cylinders and stuff redone and uh all the way around so 
you know, the fuel gauge doesn't work. I think I mentioned that earlier. You can see the gas gauge. I mean, the uh, speedometer's working here. And, uh, but, you know, the blinkers uh, do work. And you gotta be really careful with this switch. You just gotta barely touch it. You can see it's blinking there on the right. And it's hard to shut off sometimes. You gotta mess with it. Now I'm trying to make the left, now the left one's working. You just gotta be real gentle with it. And, uh, but, but they do work, and uh, now I got them both going. There we go. Um, anyways, you can see it's got a Kenwood radio in it, and uh, you know, I don't smell any cigarette smoke or anything in it, and uh, it's an ashtray there, and I think that might be a vent. There's actually little vents. I think that's for a speaker too, but there's no speaker in it. There's actually a speaker in the back. You can look here on the top. There was a little patch. Right here, there was a little tiny hole, and it was patched in the in the uh in the past and uh see it's got its visors on both sides and there was a patch in the back there which we showed uh you know in the video and in photos so you know overall uh we're just going to cruise around here a little bit and enjoy yourself i'll see i can see some little scratching here on the windshield where someone had a ring on and uh i can't tell if that's on the inside or outside it actually looks on the outside and i just wanted to make you notice uh that but no cracks in the windshield um, it actually looks pretty clean, so we'll just cruise around. Okay, here we are. We're going to take a look underneath the Corvair. You know, doing a video underneath is a whole nother world uh, compared to just still photos but it's nice to see it in a video because I can talk about a poke on it and uh, just show you different stuff I, you just get a whole nother perspective and so um, I think it's a good idea and um, so we'll just walk around so you can see it here's the new tires we just put on today zero miles on them and uh, they're the correct size for a 175 80 13 they look great little white wall we'll look across here across the front you can see the valance is in good shape. A couple little little dings going on. This was more of a dent, but um, you can see the valance is nice. It's not rusty. We put uh, new um, brake cylinder, cylinders all the way around of it and uh, front and back. We put one brake hose on in the back as well. The other brake hoses look pretty good. But you can see here it's the nose is in nice condition. You know, the frame rail looks good. You know, the trunk pan looks good. It's kind of funny to call a trunk pan up here in the front, but, um, you know, it's rear engine car air-cooled, you know. So, um, you can see here, and see inside the wheel well, real clean and uh, not rusty. Go around this way. You can see here it's not, not rusty, you know, nice and clean. You know, up here in this area is a, a place that these cars get real rusty. If you know Corvairs, you know, especially convertibles, uh, they they have a lot of rust issues. And this one's actually fairly clean. You can look at the floor, and it's real nice. It's not all dented up or anything like that. There is a couple little pinholes going on, you know, right here, here. One little small one right there. You know, you could go two ways with fixing that. You could cut little spots out and weld in pieces, but Honestly, the, since the floors are so intact and structurally this car is in great condition, I'd probably just put some pour 15, you know, pull the carpet out, put some pour 15 and seal it from the front, from the top and the bottom, and uh, just seal it that way. I wouldn't get into a full-blown restoration underneath here. You can see here on the driver's side too, a couple little pinholes and uh, stuff going on. But again, I wouldn't replace them because, you know, structurally this car is great. and. Uh, and it's got its original floor, so you want to try to retain those. And uh, But overall, the floors are, are real solid. You can see the rockers are nice. You can see the rear floors are in great shape. We'll go around here to the back. You can see the frame rail here is, is in good shape, too. You know, everything looks nice. You know, it's this car is a driver. I mean, it's not perfect, and uh, but structurally... Um, it's it's what you're looking for. You can see inside the 
The rear uh, wheel tubs, again, very nice. You can see here the bottom of the frame rail and torque boxes look good. It's got new mufflers on it. You can see the valve covers. They're not leaking. You can see the air boxes are on here with the tubes. You can see the um, there's a little bit of seepage on this oil pan. You know, nothing that's really hitting the ground or anything. I did notice a couple little drops come out the uh, the um, crank va uh, crankcase uh, vent. That's pretty common. And uh, but you know, this car was sitting for a long time, as I mentioned before, and you know, it got a little bit of seepage. Um, but I tightened a few of these up, not overly tight or anything, but they they were loose a little bit. And uh, you can see here the axle, it, it's been seeping a little bit too. So I guess in the near future you could probably, if you really wanted to, you could uh, put a new uh, oil pan gasket on it and uh, new seals here. Trans pan looks good. That looks actually pretty, pretty new and uh, in good shape. I haven't seen any leaks around it. You can see this. Valve cover gasket looks good too. You know, here's the new muffler. You can see the inner tubs here. Again, very clean. You know, not rusty. You know, like I said before, you know, it's not perfect underneath, but it's pretty nice for a Corvair. And, uh, you know, structurally, I think the car's pretty sound, except it's just some minor stuff. So, We'll go ahead and uh, just walk through one more time up here to the front. This is the gas tank, by the way. And uh, so I think, I think structurally it's a good car. You know, it's, it's just a nice driver. If we can answer any questions for you, I'd be uh, glad to answer. You can call me, you can email, uh, you can ask, you know, put the questions on BAT and on the comments and I'd be glad to answer.